Tom's also said, why does the column not show all the way across your screen? Um, <laughs> again, this is one of those those limitations. Now, there's ways to kind of almost, what I'm going to say, combat that um, without really getting into kind of custom development. Um, so one way that you can um, remove the, the white space on the side is by adding a, another section in. So this, again, this applies mainly to uh, to Teams sites, which is what I'm on at the moment. Um, if you go to add a section and you do this at the top of your, your screen, uh, you can add a vertical section inside of here. Now, again, this doesn't span across the entire width. Uh, again, I'm using quite a, a large resolution monitor here as well. So it does seem to be restricted as well by, uh, by monitor resolution. Um, but inside of this um, this section here, I'll just show you where that is again. So it's vertical section is what it's called. Um, let's say, for example, I went to, um, uh, I'm going to say add my, my quick links in here. In fact, what I can do is just drag this um, up into the top right. And let's say I want my document library to, uh, to go over there as well. And what I'll do is I'll edit this section and make this a one column section. And let's quickly do a quick republish of that. This is kind of almost the closest way that you can get to having a, a full width view um, on a team site from what I found. If anyone has found a way to uh, to actually do, uh, do this in a, in, a, in a better way, I'd love to know. Uh, but it does allow you to tape a couple, a little bit more real estate of that right hand section of the screen that wouldn't usually be there. Um, so again, this is the kind of after. Um, if I just quickly go and edit and just remove that section, just drag these back uh, here for now. And let's go ahead and delete that section. You can see that we have a lot of uh, a lot of white space on the uh, on the right hand side, which uh, in my opinion is uh, is horrible. Uh, but that again just seems to be the limitations um, of uh, of using team sites. One thing you notice is that hero section has spanned uh, the full way across, which is something I didn't test when I was preparing for this demo. Is if I was to add the vertical section after the hero image, um, I have a feeling this won't. No, it doesn't. So yeah, um, you are kind of limited to uh, to kind of how much space you've uh, you've actually got to work with. Um, but the benefits of a communication site is you don't actually have that. It, what it does is it does like to center align everything um, within the page. Uh, which looks quite nice. I don't think I have an example of a communication site. I might have a template. Here we go. So here's a template that um, again, this is dragged in from the uh, from the lookbook. Um, this is a hero image spanning the entire width of the page. But again, this is a communication site, so there is a uh, a difference there in terms of uh, some of the styling elements. If we go and have a look at the communications page, you can see here we have a section called full width hero. Uh, when we open up that section to you uh, to add new sections, you can see that we have these uh, these extra sections here as well, which is the full width section here. So like I say, there's, there's benefits um, of having a communication site and uh, and and uh, also benefits of having a having a team site as well.